Hey guys, I'm Tracy and this is Savvy Journey where I give you tips and tricks to help you travel in the savviest way possible. And today we are going to continue with our Savvy Story Time um, series where I share with you a story that is a little bit of Disney pixie dust. Okay, so in my last video, I shared with you one of my Disney horror stories, the biggest Disney horror story I have, and I will definitely link that story below. Um, but I do have several stories um, of things that were special and magical and a little extra what we call pixie dust. Okay, so for my pixie dust story that I'm going to share with you today is from the very first trip that me and my husband went on together to Disney World. Our very first trip, we went for our 10th anniversary, and the very first park that we went to was Magic Kingdom together, of course. I know, I mean, I try to follow the crowd calendar on, um, what's the website? I can't remember the name of the website that I use for the crowd calendars, but I'll also link that in the description box below. Um, but I usually go by the crowd calendar to decide what days to go where, but I really love going to Magic Kingdom first if I can work it out that way, because there's just something about seeing the castle. Like, uh, I love, I don't really feel like I'm at Disney World till I see the castle, if that makes any sense. Um, but our very first day, very first morning, we went to Magic Kingdom. Um, and we were walking in, we got there super early, so we were there for, like, the, um, like, where they like you know sing and dance and let you into the park and there were very few people in the park yet so we got like a picture in front of the castle of course and we're just like walking down main street and i had remembered reading in an article and i don't remember whose article so i apologize but i read, read rem i had remembered when i was doing my research i had read an article where they said that when it comes to the um you know Disney photographers that sometimes there will be like random photographers that don't have particular assignments um, and just ask them and maybe they will have like a unique like photo op um, that it doesn't hurt to ask a photographer um, what like angle they're taking a photo of um, so like they're not always necessarily doing the same thing now the ones that are like straight down Main Street are pretty much all taking pictures in front of the castle just at different like increments as you get closer to the castle but so as we were walking into onto Main Street and we were like just at the end of Main Street just before you get to like the green area where the hedges and the green is um, we saw a photographer to our right and she was just standing there she was in the middle of the walkway she was to the side like kind of on the sidewalk and so i just asked her i was like hey what are you taking a picture of because she didn't have a line um and she was like uh she was like well i don't really have a particular assignment and then she saw that we had our buttons on and she noticed that we had our buttons on like our happy anniversary 10 year buttons on and she was like oh well if you're cur she was like well if you're game i have an idea so what she did was she pulled us over to the side and she pulled up one of the chairs that was outside of like the cafe and it was like had like a heart in like the you know the back of the chair you know, like the metal part like the bars of the chair i don't really know what you call that but it was like the decorative part and it actually had like a heart first she had us like sit on this little like it wasn't a bench it was kind of like a like a like a stoop what's the word you know like in front of like the little flat part in front of like a bed of flowers. I don't even know what you call that. But so we sat on that and she took some pictures of us like kissing or holding hands, looking at us, each other, that sort of thing. And then she also had us like both, like we took off one of the buttons and we both held the button like in front of us. And then she also like set the button up like on the chair and did some like bokeh kind of things where you saw like the button like in focus with us like um, kind of blurred like in the background um, and it was just like a lot of like really unique pictures which I will show you guys like what they look like here um, but yeah it was just like a really really special unique photo shoot like we got our very own personalized 
anniversary couple photo shoot at Disney World and it was completely unplanned. Like the only thing that I did different was that I saw a random photographer on the side of Main Street and asked her, what are you taking photos of? And then she, she was like, let's have a fun little photo shoot. And we were game and we did. And then we got like the most unique specialized, you know, um, anniversary photos for our anniversary trips. It was just like really unique and special. So that's my little, I guess, tip for today is always ask, um, you know, the photographers, like it, a lot of times it's obvious what they're taking a photo of, especially if there's like a line that you're trying to get into, you obviously know what the photo is going to be of. Um, but if you just see like a stray photographer, um, and you're not really sure what they're taking a photo of, just ask them, like, especially if there's not a line, obviously, like I said, if there's a line, you probably know what they're taking a photo of. But if you don't know, just ask and you never know, you might get some extra little pixie dust and a special photo op just for you. All right, so let me know if you loved this video by hitting that like button so that I know to continue making content like this. I hope you're really liking this little Savvy Storytime series that I'm doing. Um, and I will have more Disney horror stories as well as Disney pixie dust stories to come. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, be savvy and enjoy the journey. See you next time.